Get up, please get out the car. Get out the car now. Get your hands out. Get your hands out to your side. Just stay right there. Due to most officers now carrying body cameras at all times, we can finally see some of the most shocking moments and arrests with our own eyes. From heroic rescues to daring escapes, join us as we look at 30 most disturbing things caught on police body cam footage. Hey, come on. Get on the ground! In a heart-stopping video, witness the exceptional courage displayed by Cobb County police officer Musselman as he goes beyond the call of duty to rescue a trapped woman in a harrowing situation. The scene unfolds as a reckless driver, attempting to evade the police, crashes into a fiery wreck. Amid the chaos, Officer Musselman, uncertain of the fleeing suspect's whereabouts, springs into action. He carefully assesses the situation, scanning the area until he hears a desperate cry for help. Following the sound, he locates the source, a woman trapped inside the mangled and burning vehicle. Come out, come out. Right there, man. You have to, come on. I'm broken. Help, please, I'm up. With unwavering determination, Officer Musselman smashes the car window and swiftly pulls the injured woman to safety. Despite the imminent danger and urgency of the situation, he ensures her well-being, dragging her away from the potentially explosive wreckage. On December 20th, 2022, a routine patrol took an unexpected turn when officers spotted a vehicle with a stolen license plate registered to a different vehicle. Attempting to initiate a stop, the driver chose to evade law enforcement, leading to a chase. Get on the ground! Upon apprehending the suspects, officers discovered a variety of intoxicants in the female suspect's purse. Simultaneously, another officer diligently gathered the suspect's statement to piece together the unfolding events. The investigative efforts of the police eventually led to the location and arrest of the second suspect. While transporting the male suspect to the jail, observant officers noticed suspicious activities involving his mouth in the back seat, as if he was chewing on something. Both individuals were subsequently charged with multiple offences, including receiving stolen property, obstructing official business and failure to comply with an order. An unfortunate incident unfolded outside a local hair salon owned by an Asian couple. A homeless individual chose to set up camp near the establishment, initiating a three-hour period of harassment directed at the salon's customers, begging for money. As tensions escalated and the business owners reached their limit, they decided to involve law enforcement, prompting a police response. Okay. You gotta go. Go to your house. Hey. Hey. Okay. All right, come here. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, I want to put your hands behind your fucking back. Upon the officer's arrival, the homeless man initially resisted the directive to leave the premises. The situation took a dangerous turn when the man began making threats, including expressing the intent to harm the salon owner and proceeded to approach her menacingly. The quick and decisive action of the police officer averted a potential crisis as he intervened promptly, ensuring the safety of the salon owner and other individuals present. Derek Nowett faced charges related to the incident, specifically one felony count of retaliation. The legal proceedings concluded with Nowett entering a plea agreement resulting in a one-year jail sentence. In a bizarre turn of events in Glendale, Wisconsin, a case of a stolen vehicle escalated into a crash and an unexpected foot chase. The unfolding drama witnessed a suspect fleeing across a golf course, desperately seeking refuge. Yeah, you need to get the fuck out! Let's go! Taking the second overall, or are there two of them in there? Come out! Crawl out, dude! Don't do anything stupid. Get on the ground. Get on the f***ing ground. As the suspect ran across the golf course, evading pursuing law enforcement officers, quick-thinking golfers joined forces with the police. In a collaborative effort, they hatched a plan to corral the suspect, who had sought refuge inside a porta potty With an improvised strategy, the golfers managed to tip the porta potty onto its door, trapping the suspect inside. Adding an ironic twist to the situation, the man was apprehended fully covered in feces. This undoubtedly marked the worst day of his life. The officers were called to respond on site due to a person spitting and harassing multiple victims. However, the person had said some daring things that made this case more serious. What's the matter? Did you 
Did you spit on him? I did not. Oh, he's saying you did. Well, then he can All right, come on over here. We're about to go. Man, I'm trying to help you. Go over here. Man, man, really? Is that what you said? Person. During a tense encounter with law enforcement officers, an individual named Lloyd allegedly exhibited defiant and combative behavior, resisting the lawful orders given by multiple officers at the scene. The struggle ensued during Lloyd's detainment, with persistent attempts to pull away from the officers. The confrontational demeanor of Lloyd persisted throughout the interaction with the police, creating a challenging situation for the responding officers. No, get the away from me. I'm on out. I'm trying. Seat in the chair. I'm trying. Piece of shit, liberal. Sit down. You garbage. You liberal garbage. Upon Lloyd's arrest, authorities discovered Lloyd in possession of a small amount of cannabis and related paraphernalia, resulting in additional charges. Post arrest, while receiving medical treatment, Lloyd allegedly escalated the situation by making verbal threats against Officer Michi Antuono, indicating a willingness for a violent confrontation if they were to encounter each other in public. In Waukesha, Wisconsin, law enforcement responded to a distressing situation involving a physical dispute between the caller and her ex-boyfriend. Stay! Hey! Do not leave! Prior to the arrival of the police, the ex-boyfriend engaged in destructive behavior, breaking a window and pelting the victim's house with eggs. Upon reaching the scene, the police witnessed the suspect physically assaulting the victim. In an attempt to evade arrest, the suspect fled the scene, initiating a brief high-speed chase. Ultimately, the suspect stopped the vehicle and continued the escape attempt on foot. The foot chase proved challenging for the fleeing suspect, leading to an unexpected obstacle. While attempting to escape, the suspect became entangled in a barbed wire fence, hampering his efforts to evade arrest. Caught up in a prickly situation of his own making, he set himself up for an easy arrest by the officers. Prepare yourself for a compelling and emotionally charged video capturing Officer Castaneda's heroic actions as he rushes to save a six-year-old drowning victim at a pool party. Upon arrival, officers found the child already pulled from the water, lying unconscious on the ground. With swift determination, they did their utmost to provide assistance, like giving immediate chest compressions and putting her on her side, until the ambulance arrived. This intense footage sheds light on the efforts of our officers as they navigate the urgency of the situation, working against the clock to administer crucial life-saving measures. In a dramatic nighttime rescue, police officers braved the cold waters to save a man and his loyal canine companion. The scene unfolds as the man clings tightly to his furry friend while they both face the perilous situation. After being informed about the situation, the officers took no time to respond and immediately went to the water in the pitch black darkness of the night. It didn't take them long to find the man and his cherished pet struggling to stay afloat. They rescued the dog first from the man's grasp before ensuring his safety. This video shows a relationship built. They rescued the dog first from the man's grasp before ensuring his safety. This video shows a relationship built out of the love of a man and his best friend, surviving even during the most difficult times. On November 22, 2022, Macy's loss prevention employees uncovered the antics of a sneaky thief, humorously dubbed Stupid Robin Hood, through their ceiling-mounted camera. The footage captured this would-be criminal concealing store merchandise and strolling out of the store undetected. However, the vigilant loss prevention staff promptly apprehended the thief, calling in officers from the humble police department to handle the situation. The video also highlighted the thief's partner, who engaged in a collaborative effort to steal items from different sections of the store and deliver them to her criminal companion. The partner's actions appeared deceptively like routine shopping, but the footage revealed the underlying criminal scheme. While the partner managed to evade capture, leaving him to face the consequences, the loss prevention team and law enforcement were one step ahead. The video documented the interception and detainment of stupid Robin Hood by diligent loss prevention employees. Notably, the 58-year-old Jerome Allen, 
operating under the alias Stupid Robin Hood, faced arrest on a felony count of theft with two prior convictions. Allen's extensive criminal history, including multiple convictions for theft and possession of a controlled substance, could result in a potential 20-year prison sentence for merchandise theft, totaling $258. Officer Hawkins demonstrated exceptional bravery and quick thinking when he encountered a vehicle engulfed in flames along I-75 and I-285. The situation became even more critical as multiple citizens pulled over to assist the victim before first responders could arrive. In a selfless act of heroism, Officer Hawkins and the Good Samaritans worked together to carry the victim away from the dangerous scene and to a safe location. Their collective efforts ensured the victim's safety and facilitated the arrival of medical personnel who could provide necessary treatment. This incident highlights the importance of community members and law enforcement working collaboratively in times of crisis, showcasing the dedication and compassion of Officer Hawkins and the Good Samaritans who went above and beyond to help a fellow citizen in need. Special Investigations Unit deputies exhibited vigilance when they identified an armed carjacking suspect at an apartment complex. The suspect was still driving the Honda Civic he had stolen at gunpoint the night before. Upon the arrival of backup deputies, the suspect departed the complex in the stolen vehicle. A patrol deputy attempted to initiate a stop, but the suspect chose to flee. Hey, he's pointing to someone down here! Uh, Where's he at? Given that armed robbery is a pursuable offence, deputies engaged in a pursuit. Undeterred, the suspect continued to drive recklessly and shortly afterward collided with another vehicle. Despite fleeing on foot, deputies swiftly tracked down and apprehended the suspect. Don't reach for anything to get a shot! Do you understand? Do you understand? The victim of the carjacking positively identified both the suspect and the firearm used in the crime. In April of this year, law enforcement officers were dispatched to investigate a case of sexual assault. In their pursuit of the alleged perpetrator, officers contacted his girlfriend. However, suspicions arose that she might be concealing crucial information. What are you talking about? Don't. I didn't do anything. Don't. What are you okay. talking about? If... Come on, what are you doing? Stop, you're not gonna win this, all right? Okay, can I... No, stop. What are you talking about? Let go. I haven't done it. Yeah, yeah. Get your hands out. Get your hands out to your side. Just stay right there. Soon after, one of the officers noticed the suspect attempting to escape through a rear window, resulting in the apprehension of the alleged rapist. Simultaneously, officers successfully detained the male suspect, charging him with second-degree domestic violence and rape. The arrest of the suspect's girlfriend took an unexpected turn, adding complexity to the situation. The female suspect faced charges of resisting arrest and obstructing the investigation. The Spartanburg Police Department recently released body camera footage to address misinformation circulating on social media. The incident in question involved officers responding to a 911 call about juveniles in possession of a BB gun and engaging in disruptive behavior. According to the police, a woman reported that one of the juveniles shot her son with the BB gun and that they were also throwing rocks at her property. Upon arrival, an officer encountered two juveniles, one of whom appeared to be carrying a BB gun. Up over here, old man. What's going on? Uh, I'm detaining you for your safety and my safety, okay? The officer instructed the boy to drop the gun, and he promptly complied by placing it on the ground. The officer then proceeded to handcuff the boy and place him in the back of the patrol car while attempting to locate the boy's parents and gather more information about the complaint. Notably, the body camera footage revealed that the officer did not unholster or draw his weapon during the entire incident. Releasing the video aimed to clarify the facts surrounding the event and correct any misinformation that may have spread on social media, showing the importance of accurate information and the role of body cameras in providing an objective record of law enforcement interactions. A law enforcement officer responded to a report of shoplifting. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 
you ask me Why are you doing this to me? Because you're walking away from me, you're not okay. listening. As the dispatcher provided descriptions of the suspect, the officer quickly identified the individual walking on the road and took immediate action. The arrest took a violent turn when the woman refused to comply with the officer's orders and attempted to walk away. In response, the officer was forced to physically restrain her, leading to her being placed on the ground. Subsequent investigation revealed that the female had multiple stolen items in her bag. As a result, she faced charges of shoplifting and resisting arrest. The incident showcases officers' challenges when confronting non-compliant individuals during arrests. Officers conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle at Black Creek Parkway due to a missing tail light at 8.40 p.m. During the stop, the officer noticed the male passenger acting nervously. The officer requested identification from the passenger, who initially claimed not to have an Alabama driver's license. Nothing came up when the officer attempted to verify the passenger's information. The passenger then produced an Alabama license, but the photo did not match his appearance, claiming significant weight loss during incarceration. Upon interviewing the female driver separately, she provided the officer with the male passenger's real name. A search revealed a probation revocation for two felony warrants related to dangerous drugs and misdemeanor traffic warrants. The officer returned to the car to talk to the man, who appeared calm until he suddenly ran from the vehicle. Come on. Get on the ground! Oh, shit. Get on the ground! Let me see your hands! He crossed two lanes of oncoming traffic, jumped over the barrier, and fell 19 feet. Charges are pending against the individual. The release of body cam footage was prompted by accusations on social media, with the girlfriend claiming that the suspect was thrown off the bridge and beaten. Officers responded to a report of a suspicious car with a sleeping person inside, but her identity would leave the police in shock after they get to know what she had previously done. Upon arrival, the officers tried to rouse the individual. How old are you? 23. Four years born. 99. Then I came out and charged my phone. I just came from Florida. Did you? Yeah, I was from Florida. Florida. Initially, she gave false information to the police, including her name, age, current address, and even family details. She explained to the police that she was in the car just to charge her phone. However, after a brief period, she disclosed the truth to the police officer. It was revealed that the female had numerous outstanding warrants for charges such as armed robbery, kidnapping, and homicides. Unexpected arrests of horrible criminals like this one show us that real criminals might be hiding in front of our eyes. Officers with the Houston Police Department responded to the scene of a major vehicle crash. A witness reported that a speeding truck ignored a stop sign and collided with another vehicle at an intersection. The driver of the truck was observed by witnesses throwing cans of alcohol out of the vehicle before fleeing on foot down the street. Fortunately, the driver only made it about half a mile before being stopped by a local neighborhood justice seeker. The video captures the aftermath of the crash, with officers apprehending the driver who attempted to flee the scene. The driver, identified as 44-year-old Jose Gutierrez, was subsequently arrested on one misdemeanor count of driving while intoxicated. Jose Gutierrez has a previous criminal record, including possession of a controlled substance and theft of roofing shingles. As of the video's editing, he remains in jail. The video concludes with officers expressing appreciation for the assistance witnesses and individuals provided at the scene. Deputies were dispatched to a multi-unit residence after someone called 911 to report a mentally distressed man in need of assistance. When the responding deputy found the man in question, he was seen on the police body camera holding a drink that resembled absinthe. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. They don't know what's and going on. And I'm trying to tell anybody you want to stop talking. Exactly. Let's find out what's going on. As the man was questioned, someone remarked that Kyle shouldn't be drinking. In response to the remark that he shouldn't be drinking, Kyle chugged the beverage in plain view of the deputy's body camera. He entered the home, declining to answer any more questions and blaming the police for missing his daughter's birthday. With no other option, the police had to arrest him and bring him in for questioning. 
In a span of six minutes, audacious suspects attempted two daring carjackings. The suspects emerged with weapons drawn, attempting to seize control at gunpoint. However, both victims courageously defied their assailants, revving their engines and escaping unharmed. The saga continued when security personnel called Seattle police officers. Two individuals were found sound asleep in a white SUV without license plates. Recognizing them as the carjacking suspects, officers cautiously approached. Chaos erupted as the male suspect, fueled by adrenaline, made a desperate attempt to escape. The SUV turned into a weapon, ramming into police vehicles in a frenzied bid for freedom. This incident marked a pivotal moment in the relentless pursuit of justice against carjackings in Seattle, showing the resilience of victims and the audacity of criminals. Officers responded to a dispatch call at a local business where a man refused to leave the bathroom after business hours. How's it going? The business is closed. They've been closed for 30 minutes. Upon arrival, the officers spoke to a staff member who informed them that the man had entered the bathroom 15 minutes before closing and had stopped responding when informed about the closing time. At first, he was only detained, but due to resisting, the suspect was subsequently arrested and later charged with public intoxication and resisting arrest. A normal day in one of the most popular fast food chains is about a violent and scary twist. Initially, police were called to CVS due to a disturbance caused by a group of children. The children had moved to McDonald's by the time the police arrived. The management staff said the juveniles were not welcome inside McDonald's due to prior fighting. The manager also asked the group to leave if they had not ordered. From the manager, if you just walked in, time to leave, or you're gonna be subject to trespass and we'll be arrested. Police repeatedly directed the children to leave, giving multiple warnings. Eight children were eventually arrested, with one being pushed to the ground during the arrest. Law enforcement officers swiftly responded to a reported trespassing incident, deploying their professional skills to assess the situation. Upon reaching the location and conducting a background check on the suspect, law enforcement uncovered a startling revelation. The person had an outstanding warrant for armed robbery. As officers engaged with the suspect, the situation took a complex turn. The individual attempted to reshape the narrative, skillfully portraying herself as a victim and introducing an element of manipulation into the unfolding events. This is not me. He put his whole body weight on my chest cavity and I can't... I can't breathe. You're, you're talking to me. You I know, to but okay. he was on my Slow whole day. Moreover, during the interaction, the female suspect resisted the officer's lawful actions, leading to additional charges. Under the supervision of their designated leader, the law enforcement team demonstrated professionalism and determination in managing the evolving circumstances, ensuring that the suspect was held accountable. Officers from the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety swiftly responded to a critical situation in the 100 block of E. Michigan Avenue, a reported occurrence of two bank robberies that had just taken place. The 911 callers, demonstrating quick thinking, provided dispatch with a detailed description of the suspect who had fled the scene. Upon their arrival, officers promptly initiated a search and successfully located the suspect, attempting to escape on a bicycle. The law enforcement team, operating with efficiency and precision, apprehended the suspect without incident, ensuring the public safety and securing the scene. The arrested individual, a 27-year-old resident of Kalamazoo, now faces two counts of bank robbery. The suspect awaits arraignment, where legal proceedings will unfold to address the charges brought against him. In 2022, deputies in Florida responded to a residence known for frequent drug activity. The footage commences with deputies questioning and searching an individual, revealing what appears to be prop money in their possession. Throughout the video, the deputies interact with various individuals at the scene, discovering drug paraphernalia and evidence of drug use. 
a thorough search of the area uncovers additional items, including needles and a cigarette pack with drug residue. You got a chance to go back yeah, in go, there? Go back in there. I had one of the same. I don't think so. Later in the video, a female suspect is arrested and the deputies persist in searching for drugs and related items. They find pills in a bag and come across various pill bottles with torn off labels. The deputies express their determination to identify and charge individuals in possession of drugs. While specific details on court outcomes are not provided, the video underscores the ongoing challenges faced by law enforcement in addressing drug-related activities within the community. A routine day for a Brookhaven police officer took an unexpected turn near a Walgreens store. The officer was flagged down by witnesses reporting a theft involving a black male who had stolen items from the store and fled. Upon receiving this information, the vigilant officer quickly located the suspect who was walking with a knife in hand. Concerned for safety, the officer activated patrol lights and approached the suspect. In a tense but controlled interaction, the officer asked the suspect to surrender the knife and he complied. The suspect admitted to having visited the store, but dismissed it as unworthy of discussion. To ensure the safety of both the suspect and the public, the officer requested that he sit on the patrol car's push bumper. However, the situation took an unexpected turn when the suspect decided to run for it. A chase ensued, with the officer and assisting officers joining the pursuit. After a few minutes of pursuit, the suspect was successfully captured. A search of the suspect's bag revealed two mini speakers valued at $1.40, which had been stolen from Walgreen. In this incident, an officer from the Santa Fe Police Department pulled over a green vehicle with no license plates. The driver explained that he had recently purchased the car and was learning to drive. However, the officer detected the smell of marijuana and questioned the driver. I get it, I get it. I'm going to ask you another question, right? When was the last time you smoked weed, dude? That was like an hour ago. Suspecting impairment, the officer conducted field sobriety tests, including checking the driver's eyes and having him cross his eyes. The driver exhibited signs of impairment, leading the officer to make the decision to arrest him for driving under the influence. Additionally, the officer mentioned that the captain decided to tow the suspect's car and someone with a valid license would need to retrieve it from the impound. Officers responded to a disturbance after receiving information that a female was wielding a knife and threatening people. Upon arriving at the scene, the officers encountered a woman in her underwear who was reportedly behaving aggressively with a large knife. One of the officers approached the vehicle and retrieved the large knife that the female had been using during the disturbance. It's heavy too. Yeah. Yeah. The officers ensured the safety of the surrounding individuals and took control of the dangerous weapon. Subsequently, the woman was charged with resisting arrest and public nuisance. The charges likely stemmed from her aggressive behavior, threats, and the need for law enforcement intervention to bring the situation under control. In a routine patrol scenario in Oklahoma, a vigilant officer observed a vehicle exceeding the speed limit initiating what would soon become a tense encounter. The female driver, initially instructed to pull over, failed to comply. Go and step out of the vehicle. Go and step out of the vehicle. Okay. Okay, go and step out of the vehicle. Step out of the car. Do not sign it. You are going to Prompting the officer to approach and address the situation directly. As the officer requested the driver's identification, a verbal dispute erupted regarding the alleged speed violation. A second officer joined the scene to assist, ensuring proper verification of the driver's identity. The decision to ask the driver to exit the vehicle revealed a concerning detail, the lingering scent of possible marijuana. Swiftly transitioning from a routine traffic stop to a more serious situation, officers opted to arrest the driver on suspicion of DUI. The arrest, however, faced resistance as the suspect attempted to pull away during the process. Eventually subdued and placed in the patrol car, the suspect was transported to jail. In Marquette County, Wisconsin, deputies were dispatched to a residence where a white-tailed buck was trapped in a backyard swimming pool. The incident occurred in the early morning hours after the opening day of Wisconsin's gun deer season. Yeah. I heard a 
boom, and the dog started going nuts, and okay. he, had to, he had to go to the bathroom, and they were still barking. I said, you didn't let him out, so he let him out when he finished going. Upon arrival, the deputies assessed the situation and found the deer in the pool. The homeowner explained that they heard a noise and their dogs alerted them to the trapped buck when they let them out. Together with the deputies, the homeowner tried to figure out a safe way to rescue the deer. The deputies discussed using a rope to create a loop around the deer's antlers. The plan was to try to guide the deer out of the pool without causing harm to the animal. After carefully maneuvering, the deputies successfully guided the deer out of the pool using the looped rope and setting it back to freedom. In the video, Officer Vargas is shown approaching a residence where a resident discovered an alligator lying by their front door. With its mouth wide open, the alligator gazes up at Officer Vargas. Exercising caution, Vargas traps the alligator and secures its mouth for safety. Given the situation, Officer Vargas contacts the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission for assistance. They informed him that a trapper would take approximately 30 minutes to arrive. However, it is mentioned that they would likely euthanize the alligator. Considering the alternative, Officer Vargas decides to take matters into his own hands. He places the alligator in the back of his patrol car, transports it to a nearby canal, and releases the reptile into the water, allowing it to return to its natural habitat.